What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 287. As you can tell, I'm not at my home bar. I am actually currently at work. I am uh, just getting some stuff done at Clive. But I know I need to do BC Spirit of Day. I've got to not be slack. So I picked up something brand new today. I found it at... Um, uh, Tudor House, so I've done another little bit of archaeology again, um, and it is the Legacy Gin from Old Order. I haven't tasted anything from Old Order in a really, really long time. Um, they're in Pen... No, I don't want to say Penticton. Where are they? Penticton, yeah, because I tried to pop by a couple of times. Um, but yeah, this is their Legacy Gin, this is their house gin. So I don't actually know too much about this distillery. Um, I've had them in a few tastings and stuff. Super piney on the nose. Super piney juniper on the nose, fantastic. Big citrus bomb as well. Yeah, it's all like pomelo peel and uh, piney juniper. Mmm. 43% alcohol. Mmm. I'm just reading the bottle. Sorry, I took a little pause there. Super big mouthfeel, 43%, so it's got a beautiful texture to it. Um, it's very, very floral, huge lavender. And then that pomelo grapefruit, then that piney juniper. Fantastic, another very good Pacific Northwest style, New Western style uh, gin. Fantastic little number. What would I use? It like? I would just, this is a fantastic little sipper. Gin and tonics all the way, baby. That second taste, big pomelo. Fantastic, little, fantastic little bit of sediment in it. It's a little cloudy, it's fantastically good. What a great little number. Legacy Gin from Old Order. Get yourself a bottle. If you're a gin collector, I know there's a couple of gin collectors that I have on my feed that are constantly messaging me, Gin Vancouver, so on and so forth. Um, this is a fantastic little number to have in your collection. So, thanks always for the support. Comment below what you want to see as number 300 spirit. See you guys tomorrow, bye.